Hey guys, uh, man, just wanted to jump in here and say that uh, we're excited and been praying a lot about going to two services and wanted to let you know that, man, such a, a an awesome thing has happened. So in April, I believe, believe is the end of March. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, the, the beginning of March, we started this series on serving. And we talked first about Jesus is a servant, and then we went into a serving series. And one of the things that I said in the very one of the first weeks of that is I said, you know, we're really praying about going to two services because we feel the momentum. God is doing some good things. We have a lot of kids coming, and we don't have a lot of, you know, ex, uh, space to like expand with those with the kids. And so we need to be thinking about that. And the room is feeling like it's full too. And so what we did is we said, hey, this is a family conversation. We're not going to go to two services and just simply ask the team that's currently working to do double time. And so what we said is we need people to step up. And what's awesome and the cool thing that's happened is that many of you have stepped up and you guys heard us, which is an awesome dynamic to have where we said we're not doing this as just kind of like an institution, but we're doing this as a family. And that means that you know, for those of us that have the ability to, to step up a little bit, let's do it. And so many of you, I think there was like 30 to 40 of you that stepped up to help um, with where with where we were going. And that's amazing. And what I want you to know is like we've been um, in the process of getting you guys um, into kind of onboarded into the, the serving system at second place and kind of catching the vision and then understanding the tasks that are needing to be done. The other thing that um, that I just want to say is there's several of you that have volunteered or raised your hand to say, I'll help, but you are unable to begin that process by coming to that serving meeting and so forth. So we know about you and we are working um, to get you. We haven't forgotten about you. We are working to get you connected. And so just watch for that. Um, we'll continue to um, work on getting you onboarded as soon as we can. And so um, in order, in in regards to going to two services, um, one of the things we want to do is just kind of communicate to you guys a little bit about what we've been talking about. So we went, we were at two services back at the warehouse, um, nine and 11. And then we also, for a brief, for a little while, we did Saturday night and Sunday at the Money Free building. And part of what, um, we notice when we go to two services, whether it was back at the warehouse or at Saturday, Sunday is that, um, that the momentum that we feel can sometimes be lost. And so we're prayerfully considering that piece of it. And we don't want to, we don't want to just move the two services too quickly or move the two services um, before we're ready. And at the same time, know that um, you guys stepped up and you guys are onboarding to, to help serve. And that's going to help no matter what. So, that's just kind of where our heads are at right now. We want to be careful about understanding the life of what's happening in the body and not um, and not simply move to two services because um, we want, it's about numbers or about um, anything besides simply because it's strategic, it's a need, um, our kiddos need more space um, and what have you. So um, I just think that it was important for me to come alongside you guys and say, thank you for hearing us. That's so awesome. We're trying to close the loop by getting you guys onboarded. And also kind of this new or newer dialogue to say, when is the right time to go to two? Originally, my hope was to go to two on Easter. Um, we had the most people that we've ever had in the building since we've been meeting at Money Free on Easter. Crazy. And that momentum feels good. It's great to feel. But again, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we don't kill that by going to two services. But at the same time, we want to help that by going to two services. And so 
Um, that's just kind of where our heads are at. So when are we going to go to two services, right? Well, I want to hear from you um, and see what you think about the momentum and about the life and the the vibe in the in the room. Um, it's exciting to come into a full room. It's exciting to be with people. When we go to two, um, there may be people that you don't see because you don't go to the other service. And there may be people that start coming to, to second place that you don't meet because um, they are going to the other service. And so the other thing that's crossing our mind is we're going into the summer. And so um, we all like to get away for a few days and maybe um, jet out for the weekend. And um, that means that, you know, there's less of us in the building on Sunday. And so then we say, okay, well, we went to two services to allow for more. And yet now one would have sufficed because, you know, at any given time, we're missing 10 or 15% of us because of travel or vacation or what have you. So, um, so there's just a lot that's going through our brains. And if you would join us in praying about the right time to, to do that. I mean, what we've been talking about, you know, is we've been talking about sometime in May. That gives us a, a, a moment to help onboard the, those of you that vo have volunteered. Um, but then again, it's like right at the beginning of the summer. And so we're just kind of like, what's good? What are you guys going to do? Like, what are we, what's the second place family going to do um, over the summer? And so uh, my hope is that we simply continue to grow. Um, we continue to keep going and, and growing. And so that's my hope. And, you know, I think that that's what we're prayerfully um, trusting. And so obviously it's all step of faith and, we just know that um, God is good to show us and to confirm um, to us when we should do that and know that we're ready. We're ready from a volunteer standpoint. We're ready from a momentum standpoint. And, uh, and so that's kind of where we're at on the two services. Um, keep praying, keep, um, you know, engaging, keep um, showing up, keep, you know, elbowing the person next to you to scoot down so you can fit somebody else in your row um, and we're going to just, uh, continue to allow God to do his thing. And, and for those of you that are watching this, um, you know, just remember that the room is free. I mean, you're swimming in a place that's free, meaning that you can move, um, during worship, you can scooch out of your chair. You can move to the front. You can go to the side, the back, wherever you, whatever you need to do to get, um, to the place where God can really work in your heart. And uh, I'm excited for that. And uh, and so that is the update, um, if you will. That's kind of closing the loop and opening up the loop, I guess, for feedback and for questions um, from you guys about two services. And uh, excited, no matter what, to be with you guys again this weekend. If you watch this video first, there is a, a second video about Main Street that I would love for you to take in. Um, I'm taking a little more time than I usually do in these videos, um, just because it felt like it just was maybe time. Um, it's almost like a mini story so far um, on two services and Main Street. So if you're watching this one first, check out Main Street. If you already watched Main Street, thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys very soon. I'll see you Sunday. All right. And I guess in the meantime, I always have to end it this way. Get after it. Bye, guys.